The Goat Canyon train trestle of Carrizo Gorge, along with the whole of the San Diego and Arizona Eastern Rail Line, is today the property of the city of San Diego. It began with the desire of John D. Spreckles, a founding father of the modern San Diego and a wealthy businessman who believed that it was imperative for San Diego to have its own railway passage, to connect with the entirety of the eastern United States so that it could compete with Los Angeles as a major shipping port of the Pacific Rim. By the 1870s, Southern Pacific Railroad of Los Angeles had bypassed San Diego, connecting to Yuma and the country beyond. Despite San Diego's superior natural harbor, the engineers of Southern Pacific must have known that a southern passage from San Diego to Yuma was not practical due to the steep and inhospitable terrain which would have to be conquered between San Diego and the Imperial Valley. In 1906, 30 years behind his competitor, Spreckles began construction on his line. In order to avoid a climb in elevation which was too steep for steam engines to handle, the eastern route began by heading south into Mexico through the border crossing at San Ysidro. From there, it circumnavigates the most dramatic climb in elevation by skirting the edge of the San Ysidro Mountains, and after many miles and a series of switchbacks, makes its way back into the United States just to the east of the border town of Tecate. From there, it goes through the old soldier camp of Campo and tops the highest point in elevation at 3,660 feet in high pass. From this point, it is mostly downhill, but the farther one goes towards the desert of Imperial Valley, the more treacherous the terrain becomes. It took the builders of SDNA five years to finish the tracks on the approximately 80 miles which lie on the ends of the passage, but it took them another eight years to build the 13 trestles and dig the 17 tunnels to span the last 11 miles through the torturous Carrizo Gorge. In 1919, the final stretch of the SDNA line was completed at the cost of $19 million. Operation of the tracks went smoothly for the first few years and into the 1920s, except for the unfortunate fact that 50 carloads a day were considered the break-even point, and the line managed merely an average of 11 a day. Spreckles passed away in 1926, and the SDNA continued to be a financial drain on his family. In addition to this, the tunnels through the gorge began to be plagued with rock slides and collapses. In 1932, there was a major landslide which completely crushed Tunnel Number 15, which resulted in the building of the Goat Canyon Trestle and the consequent selling of the line by the Spreckles family to Southern Pacific for nine cents on the dollar. Southern Pacific renamed the line San Diego and Arizona Eastern. Business continued throughout the next 30 years, eased somewhat by the advent of diesel engines. However, the continual maintenance of the bridges and tunnels, combined with the rise of the trucking industry on newly built interstate freeways, pushed the SD and AE line still closer to becoming an unbearable financial burden, even for the railway giant Southern Pacific. In 1976, Hurricane Kathleen proved to be the final Achilles heel for SD and AE. The line was reconstructed one more time by order of the federal government, but after being dealt this blow, Southern Pacific turned around and sold the line to the city of San Diego. Thanks to the original work trails that skirt the outsides of mountains where a couple of the tunnels have again collapsed, the SD and AE railway through Carissa Gorge is still frequented by many hikers and mountain bikers on weekends of hospitable weather. The entire stretch of the railway through the steep, rocky sides of the gorge's desert cliffs is an excellent path to traverse on foot, both for its stark and desolate desert beauty and for its marvels of construction. Its greatest marvel stands at the very center of the 11-mile stretch and makes a fine destination for a day's outing on foot. The Goat Canyon Trestle of Carissa Gorge, the structural last hurrah of John Spreckle's dream, and the harbinger of the doomed yet fascinating fate of San Diego's Eastern Rail Line.